You have to ask about the harms to younger people, which are going to carry forward in their lives to come. You don't just lose your body. You can change your income from one year to the next, but you're still carrying your cells with you and your body, and you don't lose that embodied history. And you have to also reckon with the harms to communities above and beyond the harms to specific individuals. So what happens when people are wrongly stripped out of their life in their community through mass incarceration coming from structural racism, or what happens when they're stripped out by premature death resulting from racialized conditions as we've seen expressly with COVID 